Hello everyone. Today we will be factoring special cases. This is the second part. I will put the link of the video of the first part in the description box below. So second part would focus on perfect square trinomial. So what is this? So trinomial means there are three terms, one, two, three. And if it follows within this uh, uh, pattern right here, the factored form would be a plus b squared. Now let's have an example to better see um, how to use this uh, formula that we have here that I put in the red box. So the first step that we are going to do is to label the a squared and the b squared in the equation or in the expression. So this one right here would be our a squared and this one is our b squared. Now, after we label that, we're supposed to find for the A and B, because that's the one that we have to put in here, but this is A squared, and this is B squared. So what are we going to do is we, we equal the A squared to X squared. So I'm go I'm going to go ahead and write um, A squared is equal to X squared, and then B squared is equal to 25. And then from here, I am going to square root both sides, because I want the a from here so i want the a so that means i square it both sides so this gets crossed out the x squared and the x is crossed crossed out and then the the squared and the square root gets crossed out so the leftover would be a is equal to x and then our b is equal to five so you already have an a and b so then from here, we can we can actually check because sometimes there are some problems that would not work is the middle term is actually not, uh, not equal to 2AB. So it's good that we check it. So that would be 2AB. We are checking if the middle term is 2AB since we already have a, an A and a B. So 2 times our A is X and then our B is 5. So 2 times X times 5 is... 10x, which is the middle term. So that means this equation would work. So from here, we can go ahead and uh, put it into this form. So we already have an A and B. So this means that following the A plus B, which is the general uh, the general factored form for this, since our A is x, so I go ahead and write x. And then the B is 5, so I go ahead and write X plus 5, and then put a square on it. And this is the factored form for this expression that we have here. This can also be equal to X plus 5 times X plus 5. So if you're going to use the FOIL method, or if you're going to use the area model for this, it will come out to be equal to this one up here. Okay, at this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we label the parts first. This is again our A squared. This is our B squared. And so we go ahead and solve for A and B. So A squared is equal to X squared. And then the B squared is equal to 64. So then we want the A. So we square root both sides. We square root here. We square root both of them. Because we want the A in order that we can get the factored form. So then we go ahead and write A is equal to X. And then B is equal to 8. And so we can check if that is equal to 16x. Again, we need to check this if it doesn't work out 16x in the middle as a middle term, then this would not work. So we check it, that's 2ab. So then 2 times our a is x, our b is 8. So 2 times x times 8 is 16x and which is our middle term. So then we can go ahead and simplify this. Our factored form should look like this form since we already have an a and b. So that is a plus b squared. So then this, our a is x. So I write x, our b is 8. So x plus 8 squared. So this is the factored form. This can also be equal to x plus 8 times x plus 8. So we do multiply x plus 8 twice since this is squared. Did you get the same answer as this? Good.
Perfect. Now let's move on to the next example that we have over here. So we have 9x squared plus 12x plus 4. So again, same thing. We label this as our a squared. This is our b squared. So then we go ahead and write a squared is equal to 9x squared and our b squared is equal to 4. Okay, now we square root both sides. It's pretty much the same thing as what we did with the first part. So square root both sides, square root both sides. But the only difference is that there is already a coefficient for x squared. So our a here is 3x. That means if we, um, if we multiply 3x twice, it's going to come out 9x squared. So this one's going to get crossed out. This one's going to get crossed out. So our b here is 2. Square root of 4 is Two. Now, we are going to check if that would come out 12x. So that is, again, 2ab. So then 2 times the a is 3x, the b is 2. So then if we multiply this, that's 2 times 3 times 2 is 12x. And so that's actually the middle term right there. So we can go ahead and... Um, Finish everything. Again, the pattern or the, the factored form in general form is a plus b squared. So then from here, our a is 3x. So I go ahead and write 3x. And then the b is 2. So 3x plus 2 squared. So this is the factored form. And we can actually rewrite this as 3x plus 2 and it's going to be twice because that uh, this exponent here is telling us that it's going to be written twice so 2x plus 2 i mean 3x plus 2 times 3x plus 2 if we use the area model for this or foil method it will come out to this form at this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, we go over the problem here. So first, it's pretty much the same thing as what we did over here. We are going to find the a and b. So this is our a squared. This is our b squared. So then our a squared is equal to 16x squared and the b squared is equal to 25. So then we square both sides, square this and square that. So the square root and the squared is gonna cross, get crossed out. So our a is actually 4x. So if you have 4x times 4x is 16x squared. Our b is 5. So then we can check 2ab. So that is, since we already have the a and b, so 2 times 4x times 5 is, so 2 times 4x is 8x times 5 is 40x, which is the middle term. So then we can use the general form a plus b squared. So now our a is 4x, so I go ahead and write 4x, and then plus 5 is our b, squared equals so this is the uh, factored form we can expand it by uh, writing 4x plus 5 twice so that's 4x plus 5 times 4x plus 5 okay so this is the factored form did you get the same answers as this good perfect now let's move on to the next example here. This time around, it's a little different because this time we have a minus as the, in the middle term. It's negative. So we go over this example here. So first, again, we this is our a squared. This is our b squared. So then we go ahead and write a squared is equal to x squared. So a squared is equal to x squared. And then our b squared is equal to 16. And then we wanted the a so that we can plug it in here. So again, the, di the, the difference of this with the other uh, formula is that there were all pluses. But this time around, the second term is a negative. And so the, uh, this binomial is going to be a minus in between these two terms. So that is square root both sides here. So I'm going to square root this. So this comes out a is equal to x and b is equal to 4. So then from here, 
we can go ahead and check if this is negative 8x. This time around, the middle term is negative 2ab. So that's negative 2 times our a is x and our b is 4. And the answer is negative 8x, which is the middle term. So then we can use this general form right here, which is a minus b squared. So then we already got the a. Our a was x, so I can go ahead and say x minus 4 squared is the factored form. Now, if we want to expand this, this would be x minus 4 written twice. So x minus 4 times x minus 4. Okay? At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. So again, it's pretty much the same thing. Let's see what you got. This is our a squared. This is our b squared. So then we go ahead and say a squared is equal to x squared. And then b squared is equal to 4. So square it both sides. Square this. So we can cross this out. So then we have our a is x. And our b is Two. So then we uh, we can check negative two uh, ab. So that's negative two ab. So that is negative two times a is x times um, two is a negative four x, which is the middle term. So then we can use this general uh, form right there: a minus b squared. So then our a is x, our b is two. So x minus um, 2 squared. And so we can expand this um, by writing x minus 2 twice. So that would be x minus 2 times x minus 2. And so this is our factored form. Did you get the same answers as this? Good. Perfect. Now let's move on to the next example here. So we have 4x squared minus 12x plus 9. So this is a minus. So we're going to use the second um, the second form. So again, pretty much the same thing as what we did with the previous um, examples. We label this as our a squared. This is our b squared. So then we solve for a by, um, uh, by setting up the equation. So that is a squared is equal to 4x squared and our b squared is equal to 9. So from here, we can square it both sides so that we can have a by itself. So we can plug it into the general form. So we can cross those out. So this would be a is equal to 2x. That means 2x times 2x is 4x squared. And then our b here is 3. Then we, we need to check if the middle term works with negative 2ab. So we have negative 2, our a is 2x, and our b is 3. So negative 2 times 2x is negative 4x times 3 is negative 12x. So it works. Sometimes it does not work, so that means we cannot use this um, uh, special type of factoring. So then we go ahead and use the form a minus b squared. So our a in this problem is 2x. So I go ahead and write 2x, the b is 3, so 2x, uh, this is a minus 3. So 2x minus 3 squared, this is a minus, as we follow that, so um, this is the factored form. Now we can expand this, this can be equal to 2x minus 3, 2x minus 3. This squared here is telling us that we multiply, multiply 2x minus 3 twice. Now, at this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, let's see what you got. So we have, um, again, this is our a squared. This is our b squared. So then we can go ahead and determine the a. So a squared is 9x squared. And then b squared is 1. And then we square both sides. So square both of them. 
so we are able to uh, get so we cross this out first and then and then so we get a is equal to 3x 3x times 3x is 9x squared our b is 1 1 times 1 is 1 and so we can check negative 2ab is equal to negative 2 times 3x times 1 so that is negative 6x, which is the middle term. So then we are ready to uh, plug it into this general form, a minus b squared. So then the factored form is 3x is our a minus 1 squared. So it comes into this form. And this can be expanded as 3x minus 1, 3x minus 1, since it is squared. Did you get the same answers as this? Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!